and I did not want to give Heather a conventional award. So Heather, um, we are going to present you with this beautiful uh, photograph. I don't want to move it. I don't like to move it. Uh, this is a photo. This is a photo uh, made by Mark Pokempner, who's with us tonight, and uh, it's quite famous. And when I went over to his house to pick it up, he opened the flat file, and we used it on a window sign um, when I first started at Citizen Action uh, in 2000. Well, it was 2004, and um, he had the he had the window sign in his flat file, and I said, "Oh, did we get permission to use that for our window sign?" He laughed. I said, "Yeah, probably." So anyway, Heather, um, you're such a special person, and we wanted to give you a special award. And thank you so much for being with us. If I had any brains at all, I would just sit down right now and say, I am so overwhelmed by what just happened. I'm also a little ticked off because I had no idea this was going on <laughs> and had prepared about a 20 minute talk thinking that there were only three speakers tonight and I was one of them. <laughs> that is going out the window. I am so incredibly grateful and joyful and filled with love that you are here and for the words that were said. For all who've spoken, for William McNary, we have been through fire together and will continue to do it and actually still are on weekly connections uh, where his insight and his inspiration, uh, and I try to live up to this aggressive progressive uh, that he tells us to. For uh, John Cameron, he has provided moral, political leadership from the first that I ever met him. Jackie Kendall, she is truly my sister. When, uh, I know she doesn't like this being said, but in some ways, I'm Jewish, she's Catholic, but if I believed in saints, she would be as close to a saint as I can believe it, who was born in the dance to the last dance, and who is there every moment fighting for justice and decency in this society. And Chewy Garcia, I came to Chicago again to work with him after I had lived here for about 38 years and moved to DC, came back to work with him because I would want to follow him. He is the kind of leader. I'm so grateful that he's in Congress. I'm so grateful wherever he will be. And then, and for, um, by the way, I'm now gonna need some more butter or something. I, I can't, this is not, this is not typical for me, I'm usually so. No, that's okay. We um, for Bob Kramer, I probably have no closer political partner than Bob has been since 1968 when I first met him. And Jan Schakowsky, who's a true organizer as well as elected official. Julie Sampson, though you were a trickster about this event. <laughs> <laughs> what an extraordinary thing. Again, recognize Julie for the work. <laughs> My son, Gene, Eugene Victor, some people will know the reference, <laughs> and, and Lindsay Demaray are here. They are public school teachers. They are the front line. They are the early heroes. Fighting for the future, we need to defend our teachers and our grandchildren. Two of our grandchildren, Oscar and Hazel, are here. And if we do this at all, we do this for our children and our grandchildren and others' children and grandchildren who will carry on this struggle and who are the future and I couldn't be prouder of you and love you more. And thank you for coming tonight. <laughs> and particularly for Citizen Action and actually for all of you here, I almost could spend this evening literally going, my, my cousin is here, Betty Magnus is here, 
we've got push, we've got David Orr, we've got, I, I could spend the whole evening. I, and then a, a, a recent student in political science at uh, University of Chicago wrote me about a week ago and said, I'm interested in talking to figure out, can I have a career in this? I said, fine, come tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle continues. You are the people who make the struggle. You are the joy in my life. There are two key themes that I often say, and even made buttons for them. I had done the progressive outreach for, uh, progressive and seniors outreach for the Biden campaign. I'd been a Warren fan and supporter in the day that it was clear that she was not gonna be the nominee. I went for Joe Biden because we are stopping fascism at the door, and we, can, we stopped it once, we can stop it again, we can make this happen. volunteers, about 250 who worked almost 24-7, I mean day and night, for several months, and I made buttons for a core of them. And I just, while I was hearing the words, and especially as Bob and Jan were talking, I, I uh, put on the two buttons that I had made for my volunteers, and they're two watchwords, or two themes. One says organize. Because if we organize, we will change the future. It is the key way that we change the future. When we've organized, we have changed the future. Even when things seem most hopeless, in Mississippi it was referred to, people were being killed, Goodman, Schwerner, and Cheney were killed at the hands of the Klan, but within a year, we had a Voting Rights Act. Because people organized and stood up to illegitimate authority. And we can do it again. And the other button says love at the center. Because I think we need to organize with love at the center. All right. All right. For ourselves, we often feel we're never doing enough. We are more than enough, and you are so beautiful, and so impactful, and have changed the world. And love for our people, for all people. We can build the power of what is truly the majority, while we are on a knife's edge right now in this country, between tyranny and authoritarian rule, that will roll back not only the freedom for this most intimate choice in a person's life about when or whether we have a child, but the freedom to vote, the freedom to have a democracy as imperfect as it is to even have the rules that we had by a criminal conspiracy that undermined the election because they knew they lost it. But on the other hand, we can win for a greater democracy and freedom than we've ever had. And it is often at the moments of greatest challenge that we make the greatest progress. Yeah. Right now, two more seats in the Senate. Yes. And we hold the House and we will codify Roe, we will pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act and many more efforts, and it depends on what we do. Turnout is the key. That's right. You are the people who do the work. You do it every day. You've done it for so many years, and those just coming into this work, we will do it for many more years, hopefully together. I thank you so much for this recognition, which honestly, I really took me aback. I, I knew I was coming tonight for an award. I wasn't surprised about that. <laughs> I really, if I was sent the materials, I didn't realize <laughs> that this is what it was going to be. I have another speech here. <laughs> For Mayor Washington to live with his legacy. I was the deputy field director to Jackie Grimshaw. It was an honor of my life. But truly, being in this work has been the honor of my life. It's been such a joy of my life to know all of you, and even those I don't know, to be your partners in this broad movement. 
to see how when we've organized with love at the center, how we have made change, and when we organize together with love at the center, we will make change. I am so incredibly grateful for the generous things that were said. I'm incredibly grateful for you being my friends and partners, including Sandy Bear, who came with me from DC because I said, I may be here in a wheelchair because I just recently had surgery. And they said, that's fine. Wonderful Tammy Duckworth. She'll be in a wheelchair too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here together. So whether we are able, whether we have disabilities, whatever zip code you're in, whatever part of the world we come from, when we organize, we change the world. Thank you for being world changers. Thank you.